Hey, this is Connor from Tune, and today I'll be talking about Tune's reporting suite and our business intelligence integrations. Tune collects over 90 data fields on every impression, click, and conversion that we collect on our client's behalf. This includes both first-party data that we collect from our data partners, as well as third-party data passed in by the traffic partner and additional data fields from the conversion event itself. There's two main ways that our clients consume the data that we collect on their behalf either our full suite of customized in-platform reporting, and we also have deep integrations with databases to enable in-house business intelligence and dashboarding projects. First, in the platform, Tune offers both aggregated and non-aggregated reports that can be customized, saved, and scheduled. And most importantly, this data is collected and reported on in real time, which can't be said for some of the other platforms in the space. One example of these reports is our partners report, understanding how our partners are doing on a particular cadence. How are they doing this week? How are they doing this week versus last week? How many clicks, conversions? What's the effective cost per click or revenue per click? As well as what's the total return on ad spend from each individual? Each one of these fields does have the ability of digging in. So I see a partner here that is uh, earning me $3,300 in profit. But which offer was that? Or what goal were they sourcing? Or what sub IDs were they passing through? Which allows you to dig in and uh, take an understanding of what's going on behind that data to further break out, starting with a question about the data and finding that answer by drilling in. Another common report is the offers report or the campaign report. Uh, what campaigns are doing best? How many clicks, how many conversions, how much profit is each one of these individual campaigns sourcing? allowing you once again to say, great, I'm earning $10,000 in profit off of this auto insurance campaign, but what partners are driving those or which conversion goals in the funnel are being triggered and what does that funnel look like? Another common one that brands like to use is our more of an aggregate report, not looking at every single individual partner, but putting each partner in an individual tag or category to be looking at it more at an aggregate level. How are the affiliate networks that I'm joined doing compared to my content partners, compared to my influencers? I'm giving you a little more of an abstract view on your total partner program without sorting through your hundreds or potentially thousands of partners in all different categories. One of the very common non-aggregated reports that we offer is our conversion report. It's essentially Every time a conversion occurs, whether that's an app install, that could be a sign up, it could be a purchase, are all going to be fed here in, uh, in order and give you that ability of understanding what order ID was used, what lead ID, what was the uh, amount of subtotal, what product SKU was purchased at this individual conversion, as well as that ability of rejecting a conversion should you no longer want to compensate your partner on an individual event for any reason. Another way brands are using our reports are looking at things such as the user behavior. Um, another way of looking at fraud is understanding how long is it taking these users to consume and follow your funnel? Um, are we seeing a lot of clicks that are happening too, too quickly to conversion, seeing that it took them two seconds to click a link and fill out a purchase or a form? Or we could might be visualizing something that looks like a more of a flat line understanding that someone could be doing click injection or could be doing click spamming in different methods. So another way of visualizing and viewing and understanding all the 90 different data fields that we're collecting behind the scenes. Other brands are going to start by looking at all the different ranges that we're looking for. Are we looking for today only, last month, last year? Um, do we want to compare this versus another time range? Do I want to know things such as the creative used or what mobile carrier the user was on at the time or certain sub IDs or suspicious clicks flagged by a fraud detection tool? As these are all selected, whether it's a dimension, a measure, a time interval, as well as other filters that you can add as well, a lot of brands will go ahead and save and schedule this report. So for this example, I'd like to have this saved and sent to me every week. And I want it to start today. Um, so from here on out, Every Monday, um, this admin user will get a notification that this report is ready to go. 
whether you want to download this into a CSV format to be put into a pivot chart, or if you want it to be pre-rendered specifically for what you're looking for. Next, since Toon's data pledge has always been that our clients own the collected data and Toon does not use this data for our benefit, not even eBooks or other ways that we could potentially monetize this data, uh, commonly brands will also want this data to be pushed to their owned and operated databases to activate business intelligence and dashboarding tools such as Tableau and Looker and Power BI and the, the, all the other suites out there to see and understand the data that's being collected to show within the organization. Commonly, brands will use an API to pull this data from our platform at a cadence, but we also offer a unique platform called Firehose. This is where we live stream every impression, click and conversion directly to the brand's owned and operated database, allowing for real-time data to be consumed, visualized, and see and understand this channel data at scale. These are just a few examples of the Tune reporting suite and our data streaming approaches that our clients are using to get an edge with their partner channel and gain complete control over their data, which can't be said for many of the other major affiliate network data policies in the space.